Okay, I'm going to share a story with y'all. A lot of times when you're out here on the road, you have to be prepared for anything, especially as you get older, you got to be prepared, you know, if you get sick or something happens to you or whatever, you have to be, uh, you know, you got to have arrangements for the little ones. But anyway, a buddy of mine, um, he was, his feet were hurting and his legs were all swollen up the other day, so he went over to the hospital and he had to get checked out, but anyway, they ended up admitting him, so he called me and uh, he left his uh, dog Zeb in his Jeep, so he called me and asked me to go over there and pick Zeb up and keep up with Zeb for the next couple of days, so I did it. I mean, yeah, it's no big deal, because a lot of times you can find when you're out here on the roads, you go run into the same people over and over and over again, especially in my situation, because I have a YouTube channel, so I'm always meeting new people, and we exchange telephone numbers and Gmails or whatever, and a lot of them I still keep up with to this day, but I do have a couple good friends out here, and uh, it's basically like a lot of the people you run into, and especially a lot of people you get close to that you keep on camping with all the time, they almost become family to you. I mean. That's basically what it is out here, it's a big family, everybody helping everybody, and I've never had any problems, but anyway, to get back to the story of Rick, he had to stay in the hospital for two or three days, so this is my experience keeping up with Zeb, he's a little bit on the, a lot spunkier wild side than little man is, because he's a, he and he's a bigger dog, but anyway, Jamie helped me out too, my friend in the uh, wheelchair. Zeb would sleep in his camper at night, and then during the day, I'd keep up with him. Also, during the day, Jamie would take him for runs with his electric wheelchair. Because, I mean, that dog can run mile and mile and mile, and Jamie's got that electric wheelchair, so he could go along, ride along with him. But anyway, we kept up with Zeb for three, two or three days, and finally Rick got out of the hospital, and Zeb's back home with Rick. And by the way, Rick does have a YouTube channel. It's called Travels with Rick and Zeb. Zeb is spelled Z-E-B, but this is the story about how it all went down, and um, this is how it went. A lot of footage of Zeb running around, but hope you all enjoy. If you do, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to support my channel, in the description pull-down menu, I put the links. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next uh, video. Enjoy the story. Enjoy, enjoy Zeb running all over the place. A hey, little man, right there. Is he going to come along? Give him a good camera shot. But anyway, the story is soon to follow. You'll see it if you keep on watching the video. But anyway, we're still here till tomorrow. I'm waiting on a uh, a bank card to come in the mail, so I'm having to stay here a couple extra three days. So I'm going to move camp tomorrow, move up to 28. I'm opening Quail Run and Elephant Butte State Park. But yeah, let me get this lunch off of here and uh, put it on some bread and some mustard. I'll be good to go, but beautiful day here. A little bit chilly, but other than that, real nice. But just going to eat my hot dogs and chill out the rest of the day. Don't you? Say, yep, that pretty boy too, daddy. But anyway, as you can see, grilling a few hot dogs. That's why you see him, but he'll be back. He won't go far, but... A little cooker works out pretty good, I mean, yeah, it just takes a while for it to cook. Another chilly day in New Mexico. I want y'all to meet Zeb, um, his um, owner Rick um, had to go into the hospital and I guess, some, you know, somebody had to help him out. So I went and got Rick out of the Jeep because he didn't know if he was going to be admitted or not, but he got admitted, so... Me and Jamie here have been trying to keep up with Zeb. I mean, sometimes you got to help out your fellow camper because, you know, things happen out here on the road. But here you go. I want y'all to meet Zeb. That's over Zeb, pretty boy Zeb. That's old pretty boy Zeb. Yes, yeah, eh? Yep, that's pretty boy. My name is Zeb, and I'm a pretty boy. I'm a little bit on the wild side, but I'm pretty. I'm a pretty boy. Yes, I am. I'm a pretty boy. Yeah. Zeb, what are you doing, baby? If he gets loose, you'll never catch him. He'll run forever, but anyway, we're keeping up with him best we can. As you can see, he's a little bit on the wild side, but overall, he's a good dog. He's some kind of Norwegian dog or something, but he loves his morning walks, though, but 
we just been walking him and Jamie took him all over the place in his wheelchair. I mean, he ran that dog for a couple miles, I would say, but he's a good dog. He just likes running, you know. So got to keep up with him until then. Sometimes you got to do what you want to do. Or do what you don't want to do. However you want to say it, but... Yeah, he's just doing his business. But he's a pretty dog. Look at him. Pretty, pretty little dog. He's about six years old. <laughs> and it's chilly out here. That's being nicely about it. It's a little bit on the chilly side, but he's got to go for his morning walk. Get some of that energy out of him. Ain't that right, Zeb? Pretty boy. That old Zeb pretty boy. Yeah. That old Zeb pretty boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Good dog. He pretty boy. Old Zeb pretty boy. Yes, he's a pretty boy. There he goes. Yeah. He's just big dog. At least a little small campus we have, but he's a pretty boy. But like I said, sometimes you got to help out your fellow camper because you never know. Never know what tomorrow will bring, but yeah, I'm enjoying my time with Zev. He just, I can't put him and Little Man together because, you know, big difference in size, and I'll explain that a little bit later in the story, but right now I gotta walk old Zev. Gotta get his morning walk. We'll keep up here. Hey, old pretty boy right there. Oh, pretty boy, yeah. That was a good walk. I like my walk. Yeah, I like my walk. Yep. Okay, back at my trailer, and there's my little man. He don't quite figure out what's going on. He just knows that his daddy goes and messes with another dog. He, he don't like that too much, so he's going, going over there. And Anyway, that's my baby right there. That's my little man. My sweet boy little man. He knows his way around, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. Well, it's a windy day today. Um... So probably just go hang out in the camper for a little bit and see how it is, but I guess y'all can hear the wind blowing. It's not like I'm bouncing around, that's the wind bouncing the trail around, so me and the little man probably work on the computer, do a little computer work today, maybe clean the camper up a bit and just chill out and enjoy it because if you go outside you will get dusted and I really don't want to be breathing all that dust anyway, but yeah sometimes you just have to make do and just hang out in the camper and i mean you could watch tv if you want to but can you hear that wind blowing me around that's how strong the wind is out there rocking the camper pretty wild isn't it bill man what you doing baby come here come here baby what are you doing i just rested daddy it's a windy day, so I'm just gonna sleep the day away, you know. That's what I do. Okay. Hello, little man. Hello, little man. That's his, that's his walkway right there. That's how he gets from one side of the camper to the other side of the camper. But we're just hanging out today, you know. See, that's what he does. He'll run all over this camper like that. But that my old pretty boy right there, yeah. That's my old pretty boy, yeah. He's a pretty boy, yeah. He's frisky today. That tail just a wagon. Going back to bed, baby boy, huh? You going back to bed? Say, yep. Too windy for me outside, Daddy, so we go sit inside today. What's little man doing today, huh? Are you just checking everything out, huh? Say, so, yeah, that's how I do it. I just checking everything out, Daddy. You're my baby boy right there, my baby boy. What you doing up there, baby? What little man doing up there, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> you looking all around? He's just pretty boy. Give you all an idea of how bad it's blowing out here. I know y'all can hear that wind blowing, but that's what a dust storm in New Mexico looks like. It is windy. They say we got like 70 mile hour gust out here but you can hear it blowing and 
and it's shaking the hell out of that Tampa, but yeah, me and little man just hang out today. I don't want to get too much of dust in my bones, so stay in the camp for most of the time. But look at it blowing those things. Pretty wild. Still just hanging out in the camper. Too windy and too dusty to go outside, so I guess me and little man to kick back for the evening and watch some TV. Ain't that right, little man? You can tell he's, he's very comfortable in his little place in the bed, isn't he? Yep. Wherever I'm at, he'll be right next to me. There you go, got that tongue sticking out. You want some cheese? Yeah, look at that. You jump right on up there, don't you? Say, yeah, when it comes to cheese, I do, Daddy. Hey, so I'm a cheesy dog. Cheese, come on, there you go, there you go. Hey, my little man, there you go, yeah. I will get some cheese now, Daddy. <laughs>